Welcome to another Pastor's Chat. One of the most important aspects of your Christian journey, your Christian life, your spiritual walk with God is knowing and understanding what your spiritual gift is and exercising that spiritual gift in the context of the local body of believers, the church, the body of Jesus Christ. The visible body of Christ is the local church. I think I should define what the New Testament church is. Sometimes today, because of bad experiences with churches and religion, uh, we simply want to turn away from anything that's called church. But the church is the ecclesia, it's the assembly, it's the gathering together by God's Holy Spirit, the people of God into one body, diverse, different, ethnically, culturally, socially, in every aspect. Some educated, some not educated, some that are uh, of, uh, of different, some that are rich, some that are poor. It doesn't matter. But when you come together as a body of Christ in the context of the local church, we are one and there's no preference over one another. James chapter 2. We all are one in Christ, but we're different. We're diverse. Now, the church is the body of Christ that God has gathered together. Jesus said, where two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst of them. I'm in the midst of them. They're gathered together. You know, you roll a handful of marbles on the ground and they scatter all over the place. And you know where they end up? They end up where they end up, and that's where they stay, unless someone externally gathers them back together. Well, I'm telling you, my friend, the body of Christ is a gathered group of believers. God Himself has taken us from wherever we are. He's brought us together into a local church. Now, there are many, many local churches. They're all over the world. Matter of fact, the moment a person gets saved, the moment a person invites Christ into his heart, he becomes a part of the body of Christ. We call that the universal church or the invisible church. And th that just simply means because now you're saved, you're in the body of Christ, you're a part of his church in that aspect. But the New Testament church, the local church, is a gathered group of believers under the discipline of the Word of God, the guidance of the Holy Spirit, and they're organized. They're organized for fellowship, for encouragement, for discipleship, for uh, education, for spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ, for evangelism. And all those things are taking place, and they also, under the leadership that God has provided for them, they take the Lord's Supper and they do baptism. They baptize new believers. Now, when you study the New Testament, that is the local church, the body of believers. Paul organized churches. He gave leadership instructions to churches, local body of believers. He wrote, wrote to the church of Ephesus, the churches of Galatia, the churches of Thess the church at Thessalonica, the church of Philippi, he, churches, the church of Jesus Christ. Now, the spiritual gifts God gives to each believer through the Holy Spirit at the moment of their salvation, He gathers those believers into those local churches. Why? So that that body, that local body of believers can function in such a way that when the world wants to know who God is, they want to know who Jesus is, they should be able to look at that local body of believers that are so diverse, that are so different in every which way, but they're one. They love one another. Jesus said, by this shall the world know that you are my disciples because you love one another. And that group of believers, different as they are, but by the power of the Holy Spirit and the grace of the Holy Spirit, they love one another. Matter of fact, the exercise of the spiritual gifts equals zero, Paul said in 1 Corinthians 13, if we do not have the fruit of the Spirit, which is love, which is love. And he talks about that. And I think we'll talk about that tomorrow because it's so important as we exercise the, the, the spiritual gifts that God's given us in the context of the local church that we have the fruit of the Spirit, which is love. Well, God bless you today. Thank you. Uh, today for taking time to, to listen and to study this passage, Romans chapter 12, where we have seven of the spiritual gifts that are so primarily important to the organization and leadership of the church. God bless you and have a great, great day.